hello guys welcome back to the channel live well today guys i'm just basically coming here to show you my cabbages and my pumpkins or what some people may call squash all right but before i get along and do the video guys i want to give a big shout out to my rusty garden guys so if you you know go and give her a shout go and have a check out go and check out our channel basically that's what i'm trying to say all right my rusty gardens guys i'll see if i can put a link in the description to her channel all right guys so going back to the video guys um the, the cabbages yes the cabbages guys as you can see they're coming along you know really well guys really well in the beginning i did put the the purple ones down first they were, you know as you remember they wasn't that big but you know i believe that if you put the the plants in at an early stage guys they, they stand a better chance of, of developing their root system you know finding their minerals and finding you know places for where water are where water is at a much earlier time so if you come in closely this one here was the white one which i got into trouble for saying white cabbage guys so i'll say it's, it's a green cabbage and over here we have the purple one but we call it red so i'm a bit confused but i'll say it's a purple cabbage and i'll say it's a green cabbage you know guys to keep everybody kind of happy so should i say all right um yeah they've been doing really well guys apart from the a little bit of slug damage that i'm getting you know what i mean but as long as it's not affecting the actual head in the middle, guys, you know, I still believe we may still have a cabbage and we may still have a harvest at the ending of it, guys, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's doing well, guys. It's doing well. Growing our own food is something that's, you know, that can be, I don't want to say it's a skill, but it's something that we all can do, guys. We all can do it. It's not a, a hard process. You know what I mean? It's all a matter of having some time, having some patience. And maybe kind of understanding how nature works and then if you if you have those things down to a not even not even to a t once you kind of semi understand how nature how the plants work you know then guys you know there we go and when i'm the reason why i'm saying nature is because of the snails i, I can't get rid of the snails guys i can't say look let, let me make snails disappear so i have to literally work with the snails you know if you come in again closer here you can see how you know they've eaten this one but we're getting ahead guys the most important thing is in the middle not the leaves on the outside. So I believe if I leave it, you know, it will still give me a cabbage. So if you see your cabbage is looking like this, guys, don't panic, you know. Gardening is not about everything being perfect. You know what I'm saying to you? If nature was intending everything to be perfect, trust me, you know, everything would look exactly the same. If you understand what I'm trying to say. All right, so as we're moving on from the cabbages, guys, we'll come over to the pumpkins or what we may call squash in some places. Um... Here yeah, I put four, four squash plants, guys, so far. And um, as you can see, they're flowering. And um, we've also got a squash coming here. You know, so um, they're doing really well, guys. And all my squash plants at the moment are giving me a squash. So that was the first one. This is the second one, as you can see. We have another little one under here hiding under the cabbage leaf, guys. So, you know, the squash is coming along really well. I believe those ones there, I call them silver moons. They grow into like a silver looking kind of pumpkin with a very hard skin. Very, very good for storing, you know. And these ones over here, these ones here are Big Macs. Yeah, sorry. Big Macs pumpkins, guys. And um, it's the first time I'm actually ever getting my Big Macs to actually grow. Um, so I see the pumpkin looking yellow. And normally when the pumpkin gets yellow like this, it's a sign that the pumpkin is not going to grow and it will fall off. But I believe that's the way these guys look when they are you know at a young stage so if anybody has grown um big max pumpkin before guys if you could let me know in the comment if this is how they start i don't know it's the first time i've seen them get this big and this one is the second the second big max guys and um he hasn't started flowering yet but this one has actually got two so you know one over there one over here some people may say take one off and allow one to grow i kind of believe if the plant couldn't provide for the plant for the actual fruits it's giving it wouldn't throw them out guys and if it believes that the fruit is not going to make it it will actually drop one and allow one to grow you know i mean that's how i've seen it you know in the past guys you know so i'm hoping that you know that's a quick catch up on my cabbages and my squash or oh, actually one more cabbage i wanted to show you guys this guy here is a january king it looks very funny when he grows you know but he actually grows into a nice the flesh of it is white guys the color white yeah the flesh of it is the color white it grows into that so when you cut it the whole thing is kind of white inside even though it looks kind of green i've got a second one here so as you can see i've got two of them 
this year because of the way that the snails kind of got my um my cabbages are early stage guys the hair is normally like two 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 cabbages going all the way down because this is where i do my cabbage this is literally my cabbage bed i grow cabbages on this bed every year guys you understand once you um once you amend your bed guys once you put the fertilizer on top of there every year you can grow back every year guys it's always gonna have the food because some people say you gotta do rotation i don't really believe that's too much important when you are in a small space like i am you know i need to be able to know where i'm gonna put my crops every year and that's what i do so here is my cabbage bed and normally the the middle beds the smaller beds i may put one here this year one here next year but normally it's in the same place my onions are in the same place my my um tomatoes was grown in the same place you know and even my potatoes they've grown in the same place and every year i have to say you know i'm quite generally happy with the result that i'm getting from them guys um so yeah guys if you've made it this far you know give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed guys hit the, the bell you know i think that's how that's what they say hit the bell and um yeah hope to see you on the next one guys on that note let's live well and together we grow